Hey, what's going on? I'm Chado with Local Token. Um, Local Token is a really cool app we've been working on that allows municipalities to create their own local economies. Um, so imagine a gift card program that only worked within your local city and without nearly as many of the transaction fees for either the buyers or the sellers. Ultimately, we're trying to incentivize uh, more people to buy local and we think with this Local Token app we're working on, we can make that happen. Before I go more in depth, meet the team. We've got Darren, um, the CEO. We've got Eric, um, the lead developer. And then we've got myself, Chato, the lead solutions architect. Now, to get back to the app, let's bring it on up. All right, so here we are. Um, we're looking at the dashboard on OST right now, just so you can see um, that we've minted our tokens. Um, we've got some, some uh, activity taking place, some lots of transactions. And um, let's, uh, let's bring you into the app. I'm already logged in as myself, Chato. Um, I've got a wallet, um, got about 8.5 uh, local tokens. Um, already done some transactions. And then heading over to um, the send token page, I can send any of my friends um, some money. So I can send um, Eric a Christmas gift, uh, press pay. And now let's just make sure everything happens. So back to my wallet. Boom, 7.5 as expected. Um, and now if we go over to the OST users page and just refresh this, and bam. So as you saw, uh, my balance just dropped by 0.5, um, or by, by one, and Eric's just increased by one. Um, back to the dashboard, um, we can also do the same thing with, with restaurants. Um, rewind, you can all see the transaction just took place um, a few moments ago um, to Eric, and then go to restaurants. Same thing, so you can have predefined um, predefined menu items, right, for, for restaurants um, who are selling X, Y, and Z. And obviously we need to work on what like the user experience looks like, how we how we segment um, these different, different items, different pieces of data, um, but this is a proof of concept. So I wanna buy myself a sandwich. This is about all my money, but I'm, um, I'm irresponsible, so I'm gonna spend all my money on this, this sandwich. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it even bigger. I'm gonna buy a steak burrito. So buy, okay, order, X just placed, look at my wallet, and dang, I'm down uh, to one, pretty much one local token. Um, and go back just to make sure things did what we expected them to do. And bam, my balance is decreased heavily. And on the dashboard, um, activity may not show up just given um, given how many other transactions other people have made here. Um, but when those transactions took place, you can see the balance is gone here. And um, it got added to it got added to whoever I just bought that that um, steak from. And so, what else we want to look at? Let's look at account creation. So, go back. I'm gonna log out, sign up. Um, I'm just gonna use my other email address. Super insecure password, but this is a test, so it's okay. Okay, Evil Chato, wallet. Give it a second, boom. So right now, whenever, whenever somebody signs up, we have um, OST um, airdropping them 10 tokens. Um, that's just for the proof of concept. We're obviously gonna think about a better system for that as we go into releasing an actual beta. Um, you know, there's some security considerations and ways to exploit that as it currently stands, uh, but we just wanted to prove that things worked. Um, so I got the money and now I can send tokens to Normal Chato, right? And say gift. Let's get him some money back. Gift, 10, pay. Okay, I'm gonna log out. Log back in onto my other account. When we start thinking more about security, this is exactly the kind of thing we'd want to prevent, obviously. Um, you can see my wallet, and now I have 11 again. So I'm willing, I'm able to do whatever I want. You know, it's pretty much, it's pretty straightforward. Um, that's what we've got so far. Um, you can see the developer logs down here. Um, just on Heroku, um, as we've been doing different things. For those of you who care and just wanna validate that things are taking place. Um, all right, so what's next? Uh, well, we've got a lot. Uh, first, we need to get some more funding, right? And then next, we're gonna work on the design, the user experience, user interfaces. And of course, there are security considerations whenever you have money moving around. So we need to look into that a little bit more. Um, but other than that, you know, it's really just a matter of time now and then we get this thing launched and see how far we can make this thing go. If you want to stay in the loop, um, you can visit trapes.co, T-R-A-I-P-S-E.co and contact us there and we will keep you updated. We're excited. I hope you're excited. And um, that's it.
talk to you later.